Mick Mulvaney, News Nation contributor, uh, former Trump White House chief of staff, come on in. Hello, Mick. Am I on to something here? I wonder what you make of the calendar and sort of how both of these camps are going to handle all this. You know Trump as, as well as anyone, so let's start there. 60 days, give or take. How are they going to handle Donald Trump from now until November 5th? How should they, in your view? Yeah, and I think it's a fascinating question and one that uh, I don't think anybody fully comprehends, including myself, because we've never been through this. <laughs> okay. We sit here every single night. We talk about on this show about, you know, how, is, how should Trump do his thing? What should Kamala Harris do? And we're sort of looking at it through the prism of what uh, an ordinary, to the extent that exists anymore, campaign looks like. This is not an ordinary campaign. This is going to be a true sprint. This is closer to something you might get in a parliamentary system where there's a, a limited amount of, of campaign time. On one and that's, hand, that's kind I of my that's short... kind of my point, Mick. Right? Like, sorry to yeah. jump in, but that's kind of my point. Is when you start doing the math, or start subtracting, it's give or yeah. take sixty days that they have decisions to make. So, who does it help? Uh, on one hand, you got to say, well, maybe it helps um, Kamala Harris because. She's unknown. She hopes to stay unknown, as you've already started to see. The more she talks, the more trouble she's going to get into. I was stunned that they actually put out any beef, any material on their economic policy, and all it did was give the Republicans something to sort of target. Um, a huge unforced error there. So does it help her? At the flip side, you mentioned a, a couple of times the debate prep. Keep in mind, uh, and I'm not joking now, Donald Trump doesn't need to do much debate prep. Here's why. I think he, he did three in, in 2016. He did two in, in 2020. He's already done one this year. He pretty much knows what it's like to sit down or stand up for a presidential debate. Mm -hmm. Kamala Harris has never done one. She did one, I think, for the vice presidential race in 2020, but that's it. So I don't think he has to spend nearly as much time prepping as she does. But again, we're making this up as we go because it is a truly yeah, unprecedented sort of circumstance. Uh, Mick, hang by here for a second. I want to go around the table real quick. Uh, Michael. And Ashley, I'll start with you. Let's let's go, uh, Democrat, Republican. Michael, what what would you tell the the Harris campaign? Uh, I think they really have to focus on the feelings rather than the policy itself. Republicans are going to hit Democrats on policies not being specific. But at the end of the day, I don't think I don't think the American public is thinking about policy per se. I think they're thinking about who's going to be a champion for me. Ashley, what should yeah, they do with I Trump? Yeah, I agree. I actually agree with you, and Ooh. I also think that they're just <laughs> there's a lot of emotion right now, and people are excited, and mm -hmm. people just want to beat Trump. Aaron, um, from, from the perspective of what Trump's folks should do with him in these give or take 60 days, it's what? I think that the Trump team should be working the refs, and by working the refs, I mean getting into Kamala's traveling press corps, getting them ginned up, pushing them on questions, working them over and over again, because if you want to throw her off her mark, it's probably going to come because now she's gaggling, and that gaggling is where you stand outside of whatever event you're at and take a few questions very quickly. That's going to be their best opportunity to start making some waves and plant a question with a reporter, start working the refs. Kurt, you're telling Harris's team what? This election reminds me more of a, a, a special election cycle. So everything's going to happen quick. There's going to be a short shelf life for things. If you make a mistake, if you have a misstep, move through it quickly. There's always going to be something around the corner to distract everyone, to change everyone's mind. And again, if you make this election about the crazy lunatic things that Donald Trump says, you're going to be on the winning side of this election. Mick, I'll give you the last word here. Yeah, Kurt said something very interesting. By the way, I think everybody's spot on, but Kurt said something very interesting. This is close to a special election, and what do we know about special elections? Turnout is the key. It's not getting those undecided mm. voters. It's not getting those, those low-impact sort of voters that vote once every couple of years. It's getting your base out, which may be why you're seeing each of the parties doing what they're doing. Yeah. Mick Mulvaney, News Nation contributor, former Trump White House chief of staff. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.